everyone great day today Friday beautiful bored out of my mind as usual on these days so anyway today I'm going to show you the stable so right now I'm going to show you the wife's car so that's her uh, model 3 she's got to actually go to work so that's one of the one of the cars of our stable here's the other car the Mustang which is what I'm going to talk about today I got the hood and trunk and everything open for you so I can show you. Uh, a lot of people ask me how much it costs me to do. So I'm gonna show you what, what's going on and how much that costs. And we'll walk over here. And there's our Mitsubishi Miev. That's the car that started, that's the car that started the whole electric in uh, my family as far as that goes. This was uh, a car that I bought for $6,500 like four years ago. And it was my first electric car. I always wanted to build one, but I went, you know what, let me go see if I can find an electric car. So anyway, that's a Mitsubishi Miev right there. Um, that gets about 63 miles charge on it. It's pretty awesome. And then into my shop, my, it's kind of a mess, but hey, it is what it is. This is our uh, Roadster cycle that me and my wife have built a few of these with V8 power and V6 power and Harley-Davidson power. This one is actually a, uh, a VMAX powered one. So this is a VMAX, uh, about 120 horse fuel injection. It actually has my own designed fuel injection on it that I designed uh, because these things were such terrible for the carburetors. The carburetors would plug up every month or every couple weeks if you didn't drive them a lot. So anyway, so I put fuel injection on it. Works great. So anyway, back. Here we go. So I say so a lot, so just disregard. This is the front six pack of LG Chem uh, Chrysler Pacifica batteries in the front. There's actually two more underneath, two in the tunnel, and two where the gas tank used to be. Okay, here's the front. And down here, we this is the vacuum booster, and down here is the vacuum pump. This is the power steering pump right here. Uh, these are all things that you know are going to be on when I tell you what the price of was to build this that things were involved in the price these, This is one of my 500 amp fuses in front. This is the DC to DC converter which takes my 400 volts and turns it into 13.6 uh, volts to charge my 12 volt battery which runs you know the car stuff as far as that goes, okay coming around here I have Corvette wheels on it to get the offset right so the tires would be under the fender instead of sticking out. I'm running a Wellwood uh, emergency brake so I can still use my handbrake in my car because uh, I don't have the Tesla electronic rear brakes on it but I do have the Tesla Brembos on it. The fronts I went to uh, the larger later model uh, 12 inch front discs uh, and the ca and the uh, caliper brackets to hold them. I also designed it to be the E equals GT2, kind of like e, MC, e, e equals MC squared. But this is more like Elon Power GT, which is twice as quick as a stock one. And this thing is quick. Tesla Performance. And here's all the goodies that will be... Uh, I'll show you guys and there's the Tesla sport motor I made this so it could be picked up it's a, actually a, a plexiglass or cover here and that way you know I could take it to show show people how to do this and yeah, no one will get their fingers in here so that's that there's my 10 amp charger for it and that's what's in the back and the trunk is still totally open. That's my car cover. But the trunk is still totally open, which is good. I'll put a different wing on it. I really like the, the ducktail wing on these things. Here's the inside. And I'll show you the dash and stuff as I get in here. Okay, so here's my dash with my GPS speedometer here. This is my 10-inch uh, Android uh, in-car... Uh, stereo. This is also uh, I can put on the internet on this and get the 
get all the information off my uh, Tesla motor in the back because I put a uh, special card in it, uh, motor controller that actually has Wi-Fi, which actually I can see on my computer and change settings and parameters. This is my uh, voltmeter and amp hour meter um, and how many amps I'm running like when I'm running down the street. This is the uh, water um, meter to show me you know how t what the temperature is of the water coming to and from you know the motor coming from the motor I got it after the motor so I could see exactly what the temperatures were and it works really well these are my controls push button controls for forward and reverse and cruise control power steering uh, and that's the inside of the car which is really cool so anyway so let me get this turned around this so I can see myself okay so after building the car and I just did the numbers I sat down and did the numbers because like I said a lot of people wanted to know what it uh, took to what kind of money it took to do this okay so I have twenty two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars in the build okay uh, that's thirty two kW uh, batteries which is about a third of what you know a Tesla has in it uh, so I get probably about 70 miles uh, and a charge which isn't great but I didn't build it to go anywhere my wife's got the Model 3 so that's our travel car and this was just something I wanted to build and have fun with doing it and just made a quick car I mean this thing is so quick I, and I don't have numbers for you guys yet because I'm kind of locked down and that type of stuff so I can't really go play around and stuff because I don't know how the, the cops would act with me going out there racing and doing things right now. And there's no racetrack close, so I'd have to do it on the streets. And I don't really do street racing or that type of stuff, but I do like acceleration, and that's what the big thing is here. So anyway, $22,750 is what I have in the car. Maybe a little more knick-knack paddy wax or whatever. But uh, in that... Price. I also subtracted the $1,600 I got back from selling the motor and trans for $1,200. I sold uh, the, the rear differential for $200, and I sold the wheels, set of wheels that were on it for $200. So that $1,600 I had gotten back out of the whole deal. So in total, if you add $1,600 to this, $23, $24, you know, $24, $24.50 I had you know, in the car before I sold that stuff. So I ended up being at 22750 It took me about three months to build it, and I didn't work on it every day. Um, just when, you know, I did, and the whole build's on YouTube too, so you can see that. So, I mean, as far as having this car and having it be, you know, it's not a classic, it's not a 67 Mustang, which I would have liked to build, but the 67 Mustang, even just to start it and get it up clean enough to be able to do this, would have been 25 grand, you know, and you guys know that if you're Mustang people. But this one was five grand to buy, and it looks, has that, you know, look of the 67 uh, Mustang, which is, you know, I really like the look of this car. I, I really do. So that's why I did this car, and it ended up being really great because the trunk I can still use. I did put a trailer hitch on it, a small trailer hitch, because I do have a little trailer that I can pull, and like Home Depot is, you know, a few miles away, so I can get stuff from Home Depot if I need it. I haven't needed it yet, but I did it anyway. Just put it on. So, other than that, that's about it. You know, it's just fun. It's quick. And it was fun to build. And I do have another build that I want to do, but I'm not doing anything till after this uh So, that's the... Uh that's the extent. And you know what? I'm probably going to have to cut what I just said out because for some reason YouTube doesn't like that. But, you know, it's what I feel the truth is. It doesn't mean it is a truth. It's just what I, from what I've seen and gathered that, you know, that's what's got us all screwed up here. So anyway, it'll be a four-wheel drive uh, Ford Focus. Um, not an RS, but it'll have a Tesla motor in it and four-wheel drive. It'll have front and rear drives out of a Dodge Charger police car because they were four-wheel drives up in the uh, snowy states. So I was able to get the differentials from a car to be able to do a four-wheel drive Tesla uh, without having three motors in it or two motors in it. 
just to be able to use one motor, which uh, we'll see how that works out. Be real light too, so I like that. So anyway, that's it for today's uh, video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I do have, like I say, the build video out there on this, and you can check it out and see if you have thoughts or questions about uh, building your own Tesla uh, Mustang or some uh, something else or whatever. I can, you know, I can help out. Just give me an email at jack at roadsercycle.com and. You know, I, I help people out. People call me and email me and stuff all the time about different stuff. My motorcycle stuff that, you know, is on uh, online too to help, you know, charging systems, help people these fix their charging systems on their motorcycles. But anyway, again, that's it. Have a great day. Hope you guys are staying safe inside and just being safe, man. This is crazy. Okay, take care. See you next time.